Can you explain that? Colonel Nathan Jessup. It's funny. Maybe he didn't know anybody. Maybe he was an early riser. <laughs> Please tell me that's not why I'm here. You got it open. Congratulations. Yeah. I hate the gym today, unlike you, walking four, three, three miles a day. You, you haven't walked. Yes. You've been slacking. No, nope, I have. Bullshit. 963 Skittles. Come on, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Pair of nines for DQ with the queen kicker. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. 560 plus. Continue to smash that like if you want OT. Rick and I do this three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Thirteen hundred from Pierre, just with Jack High. Smoke the wax after. Calm down, Nick from Yuma. Interesting. I'm trying to go to rehab. Wax. Nice. Pierre and DQ. DQ's gonna win this pot with now trip nines. Pure with the flat tire. I'm an early riser. See that very done there, rise with treasure hunting it for him. Very nice. Riser is making me that's funny. DQ heating up. Officially in Fuego. And he puts the pressure. This will be a, a fold. A little Hollywood here from the sixth seed, but he's going nowhere. Unless he's considering a massive raise, but I don't see that happen. What? No. No, don't do it. No, he's just. Don't do it. be completely stunned if we see a 7k bet here from Pierre board is paired what are you repping the flush you know boat nine or six I mean come on any nine or six a Andrew Hopkins no we haven't thought of that because really no one tanks at this table nine's full here for DQ the pace right of play here. has been fantastic tonight. I don't know if Pierre's maybe thinking that Jack High has some showdown value. He's no. covering out calling chips. No. Makes the call. Let's. What? Calls there with Jack High, so perhaps putting DQ on a busted draw. DQ wants some respect on his name there. Saying, calling me with Jack High? Was, Call me with Jack High! It was $2,200. Fred Flintstone and DQ both leading the way. Flintstone up $11,100. We got to get a picture of uh, Fred Flintstone. Why don't you go out there right now and take a couple of uh, snaps? I will. Who else did you said you said you needed somebody else? He's late. Yeah, he'll be here later. He went to that great football game. That's funny. Not much going on on this pot here. 
here going for the steal, aces, spades. DQ with the mystery hand, you know, always likes those mystery hands, pulls a stun or two. But he's been playing well tonight. Another spade on the river, so Pierre blocking the nuts and now picks up a nine. Good enough for another fire. But goes check, check. DQ now shows his pair of threes. I'd like to see Pierre go for some value here. Go about one third pot. I'd like to see something along the lines of about 12 to 1300 here. But he's going to go a little bit larger, I think. Did he go for 2200 or 1200? Goes for 17. And DQ seems to be a non believer. DQ is starting to talk. I think DQ is going to call this off with his threes. talking with the demons inside his head. I think he was going to make that call, and he does indeed make the call, 1,700. The nine is good. Well played there from Pierre. I thought DQ might be able to get away after he was talking himself through it there, but initially I thought he was going to put those ships over the line and does, does indeed do so, but still playing quite well tonight. I she never know what she's is doing. Still showing as logged in. Is she some type of YouTube analytical wizard? Sharon Barth, tell us. Give up your secrets. Is there a camera in that Yoda up there? Does she see us? <laughs> We're waving to the Yoda. You got to see us, folks. Mike and I are waving to the little 12 inch Yoda. <laughs> We think we're being watched. Oh my gosh, she's always watching. The most expensive are probably more We don't. What time was the because, big oh pot? It was early on. I want to say in the, maybe in the first hour of the show was the big pot, the seven deuce hand. Didn't work for me. I just gave an at Wimpy. Don't see it. Wow. I am. My mind is completely blown. Stunned. Eight of spades on the turn. We go. DQ connects with the eight ball on the turn. Good for DQ. He's been up against it lately. Was having a very good evening and then got derailed a little bit in the last half hour. But he puts the pressure here on the turn. Pierre, not a believer, makes the call with his sailboats to a river we go. One out only. Seven of diamonds, absolutely racer. We were actually waving to the little Yoda, thinking there was some sort of device inserted into that. And we haven't even been to the planet 13. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot the funnier key, the if key, we had. Nakia, right on cue. <laughs> oh, I, that's awesome. That you, and the Kia, great minds think alike. <laughs> 1.2 on the river. Pierre, a non-believer on the turn. Will he believe DQ's story on the river? Doesn't look like it. Called him earlier with Jack High. This time, it's at least a pair, and he's going to call him down again. And the eights are good. And DQ's going to win another 5K. <laughs> That's going to put him back in the green, I believe. Pierre not giving DQ, DQ credit for anything, calling him down very light multiple times tonight as DQ now up 2.2 after that hand. So he'll feel good about that. 